Hey guys, it's Dustin here. So I um, wanted to try a little bit of a different format today um, as uh, opposed to how I handled my other, um, how I, what I guess what I sold over the weekend video. So with this one, um, we decided, hey, we're gonna lay out everything um, and just kind of go over it. Um, we have, I think it's like 28 or so items to ship today. And that's uh, mainly because we didn't ship over the weekend. Um, Usually we'll try and get some of it out on Saturday um, before noon uh, for customer experience and also just because it can make the uh, workload on Monday uh, significantly easier. So uh, we didn't do that today or this uh, Saturday mainly due to the fact that um, we had the yard sale and uh, so I went out and you know bought some stuff Saturday morning. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start here. First we'll start with some information. Uh, there's about 28 items or so uh, total and uh, that's so, uh, that's actually the sales from some of Friday evenings, um, things that didn't get out on the Friday ship, Saturday, Sunday, and just a couple uh, things that came in um, that were sold uh, Monday morning or this morning. So uh, that's a total of $9.97 and 12 cents. A little bit lower than I would have liked. Um, however, uh, we do have kind of a, a saving grace at the end that I'll discuss. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll start here. We got these in a Target palette a while ago. Um, we sell probably one or two packs a week. Um, and this so we took an offer on this actually uh, we had offers on um, and uh, that was a uh, 16.50 free shipping the uh, bueno two pack uh, mug set then um, also on Friday uh, we sold these uh, we already had these wrapped up uh, just because they're bundled together and that's uh, something I like to do with these uh, choke bags here as I call it. <laughs> this bag is not a toy. Uh, so it's the uh, Luigi and Mario Wii U Mario Kart steering wheels. Uh, they're green. On the back they have both the M and the L, green and red, M and L respectively. And uh, another thing that's a differentiator for them is where their Wiimote goes. It's really difficult to see on the camera there. There's a sticker uh, mentioning that it's for Mario Kart 8. Um, for some people that don't know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch outsold Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. It actually did start as a Wii U game. So that is how you have a steering wheel action for that. Um, again, they only made them for so long. Uh, we got 35, uh, well, 34 dollars shipped for those. Um, then I got this uh, Speedo thing. I think I got this at a yard sale for like a dollar. Um, and it's a kickboard. And uh, we sold that uh, for $24.86. And it actually sold, uh, it was in our death pile, which is uh, bigger than our list pile right now. And uh, we actually uh, sold this within a few days of just listing it. So uh, kind of surprised, but um, I know there are places where it's not freezing cold out and you still can uh, enjoy the uh, water sports. Um, this... Star Wars Power of the Force Cinema Scenes Jedi Spirits. I find this kind of funny. Um, when I bought it from the guy, I actually said, man, they literally made something for everything in those movies, uh, toy-wise. And they truly did. Um, this is uh, Hasbro uh, Kenner from uh, the 90s. So... Um, well, um, I guess I had never really brought this up on the channel, but uh, about a month ago, um, this is also where I mentioned I purchased the uh, store display N64 sign. I bought all this Star Wars stuff. Uh, we've actually sold a fair dent of it um, so far. Um, I've got, a, you know, I don't even remember what I have per piece in. It's more about, uh, I guess, uh, busting up against uh, the whole total of what I have in the lot. Um, but it has been moving, and I think some of the stuff will move even better going into the holiday season. Um, yeah, and uh, I think if I had not bought this stuff, and you know, start uh, you know paying up a little bit, he would have even mentioned the N sixty four sign to me. That again, um, I purchased that uh, about a month ago for one hundred sixty dollars, um, paying more than he actually wanted because he didn't really or planned to sell it for because he didn't really want to sell and he wasn't going to sell it to me so um you know that was one of those instances where i 
negotiated against myself just a little bit to actually get them to part with it. Um, and that N64 sign, uh, I sold that on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace for four fifty. Um, continuing on, kind of trying to go in order here. Um, this Samsung um, Blu-ray player, no remote. I believe this is the one that I picked up at the neighbor's house when they moved. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if so, I have $10 into it. But the thing is, uh, I received so much free merchandise from them. I, and I still was when they were moving that I kind of wanted to maintain that relationship. We got $34.99 shipped. It's probably going to be about an $8 ship. It's just a quick offhand estimate. We're going to be about $18 into it. Then with fees, we're going to be about 5 bucks. So we're going to be $23. So we're still going to make about $11, bucks, 12 bucks on our $10 investment. So honestly, that's not too bad, but it's a little bit lower than I would like to be normally. But it sold super quick when we finally got around to listing it. Um, I think within a day or two. So uh, pretty awesome. Um, this is obviously dead stock right here. I uh, sold this for $30 free shipping. Uh, I think I had a $1.99 or $2.99 at uh, Goodwill into each of these. Sold one of the two so far. Uh, this quartz uh, clock here. Made in the USA. It's, it's cool. If you want something like this, uh, that's probably going to be eBay is going to be your place to find it. And uh, Thankfully, our buyer did. So 30 bucks on that shipped. Gonna be really cheap ship. Shouldn't be too bad. It's pretty light. Um, these are the light bulbs. If you've seen my video on the community yard sale, I picked up a bunch of these. I think it was almost like 30 packs or so for like $7. This is the first sale from that. Uh, typically when we get these four packs of light bulbs, we like to lot them together and make them eight because then it becomes valuable enough to actually, you know, have the transaction make sense on our end. So um, ended up getting uh, $14.99 shipped for that. Not gonna be a huge money maker. Just, I'll say that straight up. Uh, I mean, if it costs six bucks to ship, I've got less than a dollar and I got 50 cents into them though. So we got 650 there. Fees are going to be about $2 counting eBay and PayPal fees. I haven't switched to manage payment yet. Uh, so we're at what? 850. I mean, we'll still make some money. Uh, what's nice on that? Uh, I think we make about seven bucks or so or a little less. Um, but what's nice about it is, um, they sell and uh they'll move and we'll move them all and we're gonna we're going to the post office anyways uh definitely i like to keep my uh aov my average order value at 30 dollars or higher shipped uh for smalls and uh, it is beneath it but again if you're going to the post office anyway sometimes it can make sense to do things like this dvds vhs and uh, a little bit more of a uh, grind style items Carrying on, um, on my Instagram, um, since I didn't get much footage, I took a couple uh, photos of these street sharks. Definite bolo items. So uh, my Instagram is at ProPickerOhio, um, and it is, you probably have more followers on Instagram than me, uh, basically everyone, So uh, on that account. So um, I found these five street sharks at um, Salvation Army. And uh, they wanted like 10, 10, 10. Uh, they wanted 10 on all of them, but one of them for 15. And I was looking at them forever and I was like, do I want to take the plunge? Well, they're worth about roughly $40 a piece. Some worth a few more, a few dollars more, some worth a few dollars less. Um, so while I was looking at them, she was like, hey, we can wheel and deal if you want to take them all. And I was like, well, yeah. And I was just like, well, what do you need for them? And she said, uh, it would have been like 55 uh, pre-tax, she said 32 pre-tax, so uh, it was 35 out the door for all five of them. This one alone sold for 35 plus shipping, which is one of the cheaper uh, ones. Some of them went for uh, north of 40, and uh, ship free shipping, but again, very cheap to ship these. Uh, definite bolo item, that's just loose figures uh, with condition issues going for that amount. And we did, uh, you know, note those condition issues uh, and disclose them in the listing. So uh, definitely cool. Uh, sometimes, you know, um, I run out of battery or something like that. So I might take a pic or two of things that I find out in the field and uh, throw it up on Instagram.
carrying on, I feel like I'm speaking at a mile a minute here, but there is so much to cover. Uh, so we have the Y-Wing here. And this one's really cool. It's a micro machine. So the micro machine stuff, if you're out looking, I feel like the micro machine Star Wars stuff does uh, a little bit better than the Hasbro Kenner stuff that's uh, it's sitting on top of here. Um, I think there's that um, crossover of people that love micro machines and also love Star Wars. Uh, this sold for $34.94 free shipping. And uh, this was from the same buy as the other guy. Um, you'll note the Walmart clear, uh, sticker still on there. Um, on vintage stock like that, I tend not to remove it because um, I don't like taking the risk of damaging the product. And it's part of the product's history, so I kind of feel um, that's up to the collector if they want to take that off or not. Um, it does vary from time to time. If it's an obtrusive label and maybe an N64 card or something, I might take that off if it's not on the actual sticker. But on cardboard like this, it's typically going to stay on. And uh, that's just my prerogative with it. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to see some of that Star Wars stuff move. Uh, I'm very happy about that. You'll probably notice this new wave gourmet accessory kit uh, here from uh, my video. Um, I posted, I believe it was Saturday or so. And that was um, when I went to a bunch of yard sales. Um, it was probably definitely my longest video. And I early birded the heck out of that sale by probably like 40 minutes. Uh, but uh, this was a uh, brand new in box and I don't even remember what I got it for but it was uh, very reasonable uh, I think I have less than five dollars into it um, and uh, we sold that already um, for $42.99 so uh, a really super quick flip um, it's for a very popular uh, air fryer um, to make it more like your deep frying I guess so very happy about that purchase and uh, that, that flip there. Um, not as exciting to look at, but underneath all these items is our four gigabyte black Xbox with Mortal Kombat. So the Xbox is black, but the controller is gray because I ran out of functional black controllers for uh, the Xbox 360. So this is the four gigabyte model. Um, that's on the cheaper end, the game's disc only. It's kind of a cheaper lot that I did and uh, uh, sold that for $69.99 uh, plus ship, or excuse me, not plus shipping, free shipping. So uh, you're gonna notice that I'm saying free shipping a lot. Um, it's something that we've been experimenting with the last couple weeks to see if there would be a bump in sales. I think it's a little too early to tell, uh, you know, without giving another week or two to pour over the data on that. But basically, we're throwing in what we would charge for shipping into the purchase price, uh, going with free shipping uh, to take advantage of the algorithm boost on eBay, uh, just to see how it works. Um, so most of this stuff is going to be free shipping, except, uh, you know, any older listings that we've sold that still happen to have the shipping um, added in there. Um, or shipping separately, excuse me. So, and then we have the Star Wars Black Series figures here. These are both the Moloch figure, and I lotted both of them together for 18 shipped. This is new Star Wars. Um, the new Star Wars figures, not all of them. If, if, there's no absolutes in life except death and taxes, right? But we have um, both of the Moloch figures there. Um, most of the new Star Wars figures uh, just aren't worth that much. Uh, they made a ton of this merchandise, and it just didn't really seem to resonate with people too well. Um, the movies are controversial. Um, a lot of people don't feel the same sentiment and the, the whole sentimental value of, like, a Darth Vader or Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, C-3PO, um, as they do with uh, these characters. Uh, so I lauded them both together for 18 bucks. I didn't pick these. They came out of a pallet that we purchased. And uh, yeah, so I uh, got 18 bucks free shipping on those. Not a big money maker, just trying to beat up against pallet costs right now. Um, then we sold this Edison Anchorage Lantern full size uh, scented wax warmer. So um, these uh, Sensationals products, they're, 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 none of them are going to make you rich, but. Um, they can be a pretty good pickup if you get them at the right price. Uh, $29.99 free shipping. 
I uh, found that new in box at a thrift store and I'm somewhere between three and six dollars and on the item is my guess uh, just from what I normally pay for that kind of stuff at thrifts. Um, then we had a Flexi Classic Retractable Dog Leash. I want to say we got these at uh, 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 in Amazon Ben Sale is my guess. And we sold that for $18.95, free shipping. It is brand new. We just, it just didn't have packaging, I believe. So we just uh, threw it in a poly bag or a choke bag there. Um, really cool sale that I made was, um, and this hanger makes it sit weird a little bit. But uh, I did sell this uh, starter jacket that I picked up um, over uh, last week. Uh, if you've seen the video, it's the, I bought so much stuff at yard sales a couple of days ago is when I posted it. Um, you can see it's brand new with tag down there. Um, and uh, yeah, we're being really careful with it because it is purchased now and we don't want to get any stains residue or anything like that on it um, at all. Uh, the guy is pay, uh, you know, he definitely paid up for it at $250, $249.99 free shipping. And, uh, I mean, the shipping's going to take a little bit of a chunk because we're going to have to figure out the best way to ship that without doing any, uh, any wear to it. Um, uh, immaculate piece, um, super thrilled to, uh, have picked it up and sold it. Still have two more starter jackets to go. And, uh, those are both, uh, a medium and a large, uh, Chicago Bears, uh, and they're both brand new as well. So yeah, uh, super stoked about that. Biggest sale of the weekend, uh, big item. Uh, very happy to move it uh, quickly. So this is a Linux annual Christmas plate. Um, we're starting, uh, actually we've sold some over the summer too, uh, surprisingly enough. Um, Linux is a really good brand. Um, this was uh, made in 1998 and I it had a $2 sticker on it and we actually uh, paid just a dollar. Uh, really easy item to buy for a dollar when you see it and uh flip for anywhere from 20 to 40 and uh we uh i took an offer on this i had it listed for 40. uh somebody offered 30 and i accepted um again christmas stuff if i could move it and make a profit i'm happy um especially with the season being so short um equal salted where did those go oh right here <laughs> Uh, equal salted caramel uh, two pack here. So I picked these up for a dollar each. Um, Amazon bin sale, which uh, video coming soon on that guy. So uh, if you're new to the channel and want to check out all my trade secrets, don't worry, I'm constantly evolving. So you never out move me. But <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm kidding. But um, if you want to check out all of that stuff, some tips and tricks and different things that I do to uh, source inventory, uh, please subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified when that video comes up, uh, hopefully, and uh, be able to check that out. Got $18.99 for the two of these. Super light. Uh, should be able to uh, ship that out pretty quickly or pretty cheaply. So uh, thrilled on that. Uh, two bucks in. I mean, the math works. Uh, then we got these Good Grips uh, Baker's uh, decorating bottle kit for, I guess, cupcakes, cakes, whichever. And uh, at some point it was at Bed Bath & Beyond. I forget where we got this, uh, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I know there's no way I paid much for it. Because I think that was a bin sale for a dollar. Bin sale for a dollar. That works for me. $16.99 free ship. Um, again, uh, beneath our AOV, we like to have that average order value for the small items like that, around 30. Occasionally, you're going to have things that are too good to pass up, like you're still going to make money, it makes sense. And you're going to the post office anyway, so that's kind of how that happened. Um, compact <laughs> Oxford uh, English Dictionary and Thesaurus Factory Sealed. Um, so I picked this up at a yard sale. It does have a slight opening there. I'm pretty sure that's disclosed, but it's brand new. And um, what's cool is I got that for like a dollar. And um, while it's heavy, it's gonna ship media mail. So it's not gonna be terrible on the shipping costs. And uh, $49.99 free shipping. I got a buck into it at a yard uh, Well, it was like a yard sale slash estate sale kind of thing. Um, that's one where I bought a lot of DVDs and was scanning for hours. So I never posted it because it wasn't too exciting. Um, 
as far as, but it is nice to make money. That's always exciting. Life Source UA767. Uh, did, okay, it's a it's a blood pressure monitor. And uh, I picked this up. Uh, I typically buy these at thrifts usually. So I'm pretty sure I got this at Goodwill. Um, and we got $24.99 for it, free shipping. I doubt I paid over $3 because I typically wouldn't allow myself to spend more than that on it. Um, Fleetwood Mac, the Dance VHS. Uh, this is brand new and sealed here, guys. So, uh, VHS uh, can be a decent grind, and uh, you just have to look at them. I typically uh, look at sealed, I look at horror, and I look at uh, obscure. And then I just don't get anything else. I don't look at anything else at all. So, um, $19.99, free shipping here. Uh, good buy on that. And I typically pay $0.50 cents to a dollar on VHS because there's... Uh, they're random when they're going to sell or not, but they do sell through. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my uh, game plan and strategy on that. Um, this is a Harley Davidson Franklin Mint uh, Soft Tail Collector's Knife. It's brand new in box. And um, so this, I picked up all three of them for like 15 or $20. This is the first one that we've sold, but... Um, he, I had it up for $49.99. He ended up sending me an offer for $40. Bucks. I figured, fair enough, I took it. That whole lot's paid for, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, I, again, really happy with that at $40 bucks shipped. Um, these Goodfellows we're not making a fortune on. Uh, they We got a stack of them in a pallet. Uh, they're cor uh, corduroys and um, sold this for $18.99 free shipping by the time you factor in shipping and uh stuff we're really just trying to beat up against the the pallet costs that we have there um you may have seen this if you watched my yard sale video yesterday i showed an example of me just taking stuff aside the list and i sold this almost instantly after the video got uploaded so i didn't get a chance to mention it but uh 29.99 free shipped um i have six dollars total in this uh for all three of them uh, I picked them up at uh, Goodwill, actually, so not a terrible flip, and it hits that $30 AOV. Um, carrying on here, a lot of four far side books here. I have very little into these. I picked these up at a yard sale, but it's the far side gallery one, two, and three, and the uh, prehistory of the far side there, and. Uh, that was $14.99. The buyer is paying for 30 shipping. I've had these listed for a little over a month now. And then um, we've got On the Stars, or In the Stars, excuse me. This is a Bath and Body Works thing. When they're used like this, I typically pay less than a dollar. So um, well, that's probably what we have into it is less than a buck. It's probably discontinued to uh, get $12 for it when it's slightly used like that. So uh, that's $12 free ship. But when you have almost nothing in the product, you'll still be able to pull some profit. Uh, the Honeywell uh, 360 heater here. Um, it's a surround heater. Um, it's a no-brainer. It's a space heater. We got four of them in a pallet and sold one for $29.99 free ship. Um, over here, I have uh, one of these glass bottles. She actually uh, picked these up while we were thrifting a while back. This is the first one that sold. We had about 69 cents a piece in them, probably about 75 cents with tax, roughly. And uh, that probably paid for about 13 of them. She bought 20 something so of them. So overall, pretty good. I mean, you know, that's a slow seller, but uh, I think that, you know, we'll make some money over time on it. So I'm okay with it. And uh, last but not least, this isn't part of the sales total or anything. They haven't paid yet. The auction literally just ended before uh, we finished this video. Um, but just wanted to talk about a quick home run that I had. So I got this uh, gig bag, but really it's not the gig bag that matters. It's what's inside it. We've got this uh, Fender Jaguar base here. And... Um, I put it up for auction because there's so many different variations of uh, of Fender uh, Jaguar bases and where they're made and how and you know their condition and everything else they can factor in on what they'll go for. Um, I went into it thinking it would be worth about three hundred dollars. After some haggling, 
to, again, being a, mus a musical newbie when it comes to uh, resale, uh, going into it, I wanted to be really safe. So, like, I picked it up for 80 bucks after negotiating with them for quite some time. Uh, even came with the Roadrunner case there, which is a little bit of a value add. Um, and we just uh, had a winning bid of $410. So that is absolutely a home run. Um, so there are some different uh, factors to take in here, though. We are going to have, you know, a fair amount of fees from that. It's probably going to be 50 bucks off the top. I bought a specific guitar box to ship this in and other guitars that I have. And uh, that's going to be... Uh, another $12 on the cost right on the uh, right off the top there that we're gonna have to eat and then we're gonna have to eat the shipping but still I mean we're gonna come up to $5,300 on this item and uh, that's incredible just for one piece at that same yard sale I picked up a, a business commercial style HP printer that was open box I grabbed it for uh, 65 after haggling some and uh, ended up getting um, 230 for it shipped and only cost $12 to ship so there was a nice spread there and a nice margin uh, So totally stoked about how that sale went. We even bought some Mary Kay that I think I spent like three dollars on and got like 45 for shipped and that stuff was just put in a bubble envelope and shipped out and uh, So that was an amazing sale uh, for me and that was one that I just saw a sign for so uh, Just if you're out there um, you know, sometimes, you know, you're sourcing, you just keep going and you'll find a, you know, a home run like, uh, like that yard sale they had. So, uh, that's not in the numbers. Something I'll mention about the 997, a little bit of a slower weekend for us on that, but we did have the yard sale cash to kind of help buffer us some, um, that is pre shipping and fees. Uh, so take about 20% off there off the top, uh, and, uh, pre product cost. We're going to be roughly around the $800 mark in uh, gross sales. And then um, product cost is probably another 10 to 20%. So, uh, I mean, not the best weekend. Um, in fact, we're even kind of padding the numbers with some of the uh, Friday and Monday uh, transactions uh, there being uh, lopped in. It was just easier from a, us, uh, from an organizational perspective to show you all of this. Uh, but yeah, really do appreciate everybody coming out and watching. The support's been crazy. Thank you very much for all the kind words, the likes. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please, uh, again, consider giving the video a like uh, and subscribing. Uh, also, check out my Instagram at ProPickerOhio. And uh, I look forward to uh, the next video. Uh, thanks, guys.